welcome to a new episode of Tara Reads Comments. I am excited to be back to the old format where I just say a bunch of ridiculous shit and what I think about really, really retarded comments and also a few nice comments just strewn in there for making you guys have a little bit more faith in the world as I destroy your faith in the world with the other comments. And if you were wondering, I am wearing one of my merch shirts. If you want to get the Heartbreaker style or any other style in male or female apparel, I have it all at scrimgear.com slash store slash Tara Babcock. Link is also in the description. A minimum of 25% of my share goes to a charity, which is usually the ASPCA or the HSUS, which is all animal-based charities. But lately I've been giving 100% of it, because why not? Who needs a bra when you've got Epic Tara merch? Let's get into it. Just kidding, before we start. I also now have a guy doing all of my music and all of my effects. He's fucking amazing, he's a musician with a band. So if you wanna check that out or any of the songs that he made for me, if you like the tune in the background, his links will also be in the description. Okay, now really, we're gonna debauchery start. Slash start, debauchery. All right, it looks like with the first comment, we're gonna start with trying to pronounce some German. I know it's been a long time since I've made a German video, but yes, I still do love you German men. Or Deutschen Männer. Sergeant Lutwaffe, who is a clearly some kind of officer in the Nazi regime says gut gemacht on one of my videos mach weiter on another one of my videos gib mir auf on another one of my videos and du bist schon on the last one all within the same hour thank you sergeant looped waffa i appreciate you thinking that i'm pretty and whatever else you said how was my pronunciation germans post in the comments Comments. I already replied to this one, but I fucking love it. A sunburn is like getting an STD from the sun for not wearing protection. And for a little PSA, my plastic surgeon says the number one thing I have to do to anti-age, or to fight against aging, I guess you would call it, is wear a sunblock because the two biggest agers are sun and cigarette smoke. And he also says that fair skin tones age faster. Oh, if there was ever a time I wanted to be black, it would be now. Mad Max 24 says, ooh la la, charming Vicky Vale, are we? A wink question mark? I'd like to see how that plays out. So this is a comment on my new Telltale Batman series which just came out yesterday and I decided to play the game the same day it came out because I'm that excited about it. It seems to be pretty good so far and yeah Vicky Vale seems more available than Catwoman who scratched the shit out of my face instead of letting me play with her pussy. Anyway if you want to watch that series it's on the gaming channel link in the description as always. Shameless self promo. You fucked in the sixth grade? I don't care if you're smarter than other hoes but you are a skank! Tip number one. It's pretty objective that I'm smarter than other hoes, since hoes are inanimate objects. They're just not sentient beings. Next, if you're gonna try to extend a word, make it not a consonant and more like a vowel that you can actually extend the sound of. Like skank instead of skank. Also, I don't think anyone in the sixth grade is like, yeah, I'm gonna be a career slut. Maybe your mother. Troll Tama 93 says, why can't Batman be black? Okay, so I wanted to talk about this a little bit because I think it is fucking stupid how sensitive people are to racism. So the subtitle of my new Batman episode was Batman's not black. There was no intonation there, it was text, and it couldn't tell you whether or not I'm like, Batman's not black, or Batman's not black. So for you to assume that I'm saying it in the latter way, as if I'm kind of mad that Batman might possibly be black, just because I'm white, that makes you racist, not me. Also, you clearly didn't even watch the video because the reason the title is that way is because even though Commissioner Gordon told his subordinate not to shoot Batman, like five minutes later, for no reason, he shoots Batman. So I made a funny joke, in light of all the recent publicized black shootings, by police officers because I believe a way to transcend tragedy and a way to lighten things up is to make a joke and nothing is off limits because it's a joke and intention is all that matters. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Duh. Shut up, Alfred. Jesus. Someone's mom. God damn it! What the fuck? He's not black. Calm down. No. So if you have a problem with any of that, maybe we just wouldn't be friends. But before you go ahead and assume that it's a racist comment, instead of like, oh, I wish Batman was black, which it could have been, actually watch the content. <laughs> Such a problem with society these days when everyone is so fucking sensitive and they think that their opinions are the correct opinions even though objective morality does not exist. You should live the way that I live or you are wrong and I hate you and think you're a bad person and I'm gonna spend a lot of my time trying to make you sad. Just stop. I like the big titty. It's very hard to play with, lol. I assure you, the big titty is not hard to play with. I would fuck Tara all do. 
respects after I marry her and kill all the calls from other guys. Like I have a bunch of random guys calling my phone at all times and you would kill the calls. I like your protective nature. Part-time ponderer says, as a guy, dot dot, actually enjoy her opinions. And then two emoticons I can't see because I did this on desktop. And then he asks two minutes later, I wonder if she's been with an Asian guy? Are you questioning whether you wonder or are you actually asking me if I've been with an Asian guy? Even if it's something that you're wondering, if it's not a question, you don't end with a question mark. But since you are wondering and you were so nice in your last comment, no, I have never been with an Asian guy. Although I really, really want to be. Especially when they're tall and muscular. You take Hidetana Yamagishi and make him just a little bit taller, I am in. Oh my god, and her hair is so greasy. Oh, I'm trying not to wash it as much. And I had to pick the day to not wash it where I go on a long pokey walk, get a spray tan, and work out at the gym. That's how I feel right now. All right, so some guy says first. And that sounds like five other people spiraling into a tizzy. So I don't understand why people like to comment first or second, yada yada. But I also don't understand why people abhor people who do. So Rita says first. And then this Bryant guy says, shut the fuck up, you reloading, no life, dick sucking, retarded piece of shit. Reloading. Was he like reloading in the metaphorical game of life? And because he was reloading and had that downtime, you were able to snipe him with this awesome comment? And then Rita replies with, shut the fuck up, nigga, you piece of shit tell your mom to suck your dick asshole the fuck and then this johnny guy who i love by the way jumps in and says dick asshole i think you might want to learn the importance of punctuation and how they can help your message come across more clear true debt and then bryant the first asshole replies fine then comma please stop doing that no like that please stop and have a nice day i'm not going to be an incest <laughs> And then Magic Hitler just has to chime in and he says, and then plot twist, you're doing incest right now. Doing incest. <sighs> the internet. Bryant says, shut up. <laughs> and then Magic Hitler replies, one, oh, we're getting into fucking bullet points now, are we? No, I have my rights. Two, how did you type that with your head in your mom's vagina? The answer to that one is home keys. Anyone can type without looking at the keyboard if you know your home keys. And three, have you ever tried bleach? It's really good for people of your mental state. I feel like bleach is the single worst way to kill yourself. Like honestly, if I was gonna kill myself, it would probably be with a gun because I feel like women don't kill themselves often with a gun and it would like leave my face intact while like leaving a big blood spatter all over the wall and I think that would be kind of cool and it would be kind of like a fuck you to all the people that made me feel that way so I wanted to do that. They'd have to clean up my fucking brain matter. I think that would be awesome. That whole like cutting and taking pills shit, that's for pussies. The Batman over 9000, who I love, says you can still fuck Piccolo's face. If you guys don't know, my favorite Dragon Ball Z character is Piccolo, so I always pick him in the fuck, marry, kill as my marry or fuck, or just talk about how hot he is. But he is a gender and has no penis, as all Namekians are. And I feel like Piccolo would be into men now that I think about it, because the way he can stretch his mouth to let out an egg, he could definitely deep throat. <laughs> There's gotta be a hentai of Piccolo deep throating. Albert Bollinger says, but Jeff Dunham is funny. No, he's not. He's just not. Puppet comedy. Puppet comedy is literally the most insipid, drivel, bullshit, fucking retarded shit in the world. But that's just my opinion. You do you, boo. Rogelio says, love the candidness. What inspired you to be so open about your body and sex? Well, honestly, it's just the fact that so many people aren't open with it. And it's so easy for me to be open with it because I see how fucking natural it is and how the fact that I want to live my life one way does not dictate that you have to live your life the same way. So I like voicing my opinions and voicing my ideologies and things that make me who I am and what I enjoy doing. And I just like sex that much. It's true. It's true. I cannot deny I like come in the yard. I actually don't. But I'm not a rapper. Anyway, he goes on to say, most women I find are open to talking about sex in casual conversation if you gently nudge them in that direction. Take skill though, lol. You should really make a YouTube video on this skill. What, like subliminal messaging? I really love how your eyes sex bring out your fat ass beautiful smile. <laughs> That's how I would do it personally. All right, so this guy's commenting on my fuck, Mary kill video multiple times replying to himself. As a straight male, I just want to state that you're crazy if you don't want to fuck Jason Statham, or at least if you don't find him manly. 1010 would let bang if gay. Wait a minute. Isn't it usually 1010 would bang if gay? The word let right there is the telltale sign that this motherfucker is a bottom. And then he replies, and you don't fuck Brock? Holy fuck, I heard he has an onyx for a dick. 
No, I'm sorry, I don't fuck Brock. He happens to be like a non-real character in an anime. Where did you hear that he has an onyx for a penis? Was it ilovehentai.com? Not sure if that's a real site. Not banging Crash either, shaking my head. Not banging that bandicoot. And lastly, not Danny DeVito with his magnum dong? He is the trash man! Holy fuck, what is wrong with you? Apparently, I have worse taste in men than a heterosexual man who is a bottom. Hunter Thomas disguised as Obama says, would you fuck vegan gains? No. <laughs> All right, let's try to get through this one. Tara, you should really rethink what you say about people like you're saying they're your slaves and they don't have an opinion. Like, what the fuck? Sorry, forgot you were the queen. I don't know what triggered you into thinking that I'm oppressing people with my opinions and what I say. This is on my fuck, Mary kill video, by the way. So like, I must have been like, I would fuck Shao Kahn and take what is mine because the whole world belongs to me. <laughs> How oversensitive do you have to be to misconstrue like a fun game of fuck, Mary kill with like me needing to be the queen of things and controlling people with what I say about them? It's like a new level of crazy. Toxic Gaming says, you have nice tits. You're just hot. And I just want to kiss you and your big horny boobs and lick your wet pussy after I come on you so hard. You want to lick up your own cum off of my pussy? That's what I took from that. Whatever floats your boat, man. I'm down. If you fix your grammar. I like to pee on my girl. Is that bad? I'm inclined to say no, unless it's like while she's sleeping and unable to give consent. <laughs> Dragons are epic says, I will never fap to you. I'm just a scaly. It's just, I've never been attracted to humans. Is this another one of those like, like I, I forget the names of them. But there's a bunch of like other, like other kin. That's what it's called. This person is like role playing as Spyro. That's the internet. All right then. These people that post things just for shock value. Like why? Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Are there so many seven plus inch dicks in the comments? Literally scrolled through the comments, saw zero dicks, was extremely disappointed. Pointed. Not even like a four incher. There were no dicks. I think what you mean to ask is why so many people say that they have a bigger than seven inch dick when that's like way above the average? Because it's the internet and you never have to prove your false allegations. Everyone has an 11 and a half inch penis with 11 foot girth. Just take a second to visualize what that would look like on the internet. Everyone. So I was looking through the comments on my no fap is bull video, which got mostly negative comments from pussy men who think it's normal to abstain from any sexual release, even though we're biologically hardwired to need sex and want sex and have a sexuality ingrained in our DNA. And he just posted this guy, because you're a bitch. All life's questions can be answered with because you're a bitch. I'm so glad this girl also likes girl, LMAO. One, she's fucking hot. Two, she likes video games. Three, not like many other gamer girls that don't want to make their appearance better. Four, she likes metal music. Five, gamer dude's wet dream. I feel like five should be the title of the list or something. Whatever this, I don't even know what this list is. I don't even know why I included this. I just thought it was funny at first. Now it's kind of meh. Moving on. <laughs> Marcellus Hyman, Hyman, <laughs> 12 year old, says, Tara, love your videos. I'm attracted to you, but what you say actually means something. You are without any doubt sexy. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Bilbo B says, you look to plastic and not natural at all. I'm trying to find something in the house that I can look to, this plastic, to further ingrain in your brain so that's the wrong two if you're trying to say too much, too plastic. Also, thank you for the awesome compliment. I know it was backhanded, but I do love my plastic. And there we have it for this week's episode of Tara Reads Comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out all of my links in the description. I have a bunch of different social media things. I have another channel. I have a live stream. I do a bunch of cool stuff. I have a fucking merchandise line now. I have custom controller. I have like so many fucking things that I'm doing. I also have a Patreon if you want to support. And I just fucking love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys make me so fucking happy. I have a bunch of like fucking fluffy shit from my sweats on my legs because I sweat it into my sweats. Because that's why they're called sweats. You're supposed to sweat in them. Yeah. I love you guys. I'll see you in two weeks with another Terry Reads comments. Keep posting shit in the comments for fodder of one of my favorite series is 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 ah? bye guys <laughs>